One of my favorite styles of vacations are all-inclusive resorts. That's why we're here today in Cancun, Mexico at the Grand at Moon Palace. This could be the biggest and the best bang for your buck in all-inclusive resorts. If you're into Mexican vacations, you don't want to miss this one. The Grand is the flagship of the Moon Palace Resorts. The beauty of staying here is that you can also visit its sister resorts, Nizuk and Sunrise. While if you're staying at those resorts, you actually have to pay a daily pass fee to come to the Grand. This makes it perfect for longer stays so you never get bored. The Grand, well, as its name states, is grand. It's huge. The lobby is very modern and expansive. The unique lobby bar chandelier is absolutely stunning and the overall feel is definitely not Mexican. It feels more like you've just entered into a five-star Vegas hotel instead of a Mexican resort. One thing you won't find though are millions of people hanging out in the lobby trying to get their free Wi-Fi fix like in some other resorts that I've been to where Wi-Fi costs money except in the lobby. The Wi-Fi is free here throughout the entire resort, even on the beach. This makes it really easy to keep track of friends and family members if you're traveling as a group. Of course, food is one of the most important things, especially to me when it comes to an all-inclusive. The Grand has that covered no problem. There are a couple buffets, but most restaurants are a la carte and all except the JC Steakhouse and the French Le Chateau require reservations. For the others, you just register at the front and they'll give you a buzzer that notifies you when your table's ready. My recommendation is to get your name down, head over to the tapas bar area, have some snacks and drinks while you're waiting, or you can enjoy a drink in the lobby lounge, or kill some time in the Wired Teen Lounge. Here are a few examples of the food available. This is the Grand Buffet. Every night is a different theme. Surprisingly, there aren't as many items as you'd think for a grand buffet. There is a dedicated kids area, which is kind of neat because it's shorter and it has most kids' favorites. The quality of the food is very good, as in the service. There seems to be a large abundance of octopus dishes in many of the restaurants, which is a good thing if you like octopus like me. Next is the Italian restaurant. Here you'll get a very good selection of well-prepared pastas, salads, and pizzas. This one was a favorite of ours since it had something for everyone. The French restaurant was off limits to us because it's the only restaurant on the property that is adults only. So we had tried the other reservation restaurant, JC Steakhouse. This one is very popular, so I recommend you make a reservation as soon as possible. The meat was of good quality and prepared properly and the sides and dishes were equally good. Again, the service was outstanding. Another favorite that you'll frequent quite a bit is the Boulangerie. This place is ridiculous. Open 24 seven, you can get everything from fresh fruit, all sorts of sandwiches, macaroons, hand-painted chocolates, coffees, teas, made to order sweet or savory crepes, and of course, ice cream and milkshakes. And they were all excellent. It's just weird that you can get all this stuff and you don't have to pay anything for it. For those fans of Asian food, there is Jade, where they have a mix of sushi and some fusion dishes. I highly recommend the Ishiyaki, which is sliced marble American Wagyu beef, which you cook on a hot stone on the table. The beef absolutely melts in your mouth. All restaurants asked about food allergies and when I tell them that my daughter has a nut allergy, they'd make a note and place it on the order slip so everyone would know. Only bottled water is used throughout the resort and I'd say that my stomach has always been on the sensitive side and after seven days, none of us had any issues. That being said though, you can never be too careful. These are just a few of many restaurants at the Grand. Just want to remind you, this is a normal room. This is not any special suite or anything. By the way, talk about high tech. They are doing a trial program right now where your bracelet will open the doors or your phone. This is the bathroom. This is a used room. We are living in here. 
So you have a uh, dual sink. Now here's one thing that you don't really normally find a lot in all-inclusive uh, hotels, the fixtures even. Look, you have Kohler fixtures throughout the entire hotel. Very, very high-end, big mirrors. This is the shower area, huge, huge, huge shower. Lots of room, a nice hanging spot for your wet clothes. Uh, there is your toilet. One thing, the door is pretty close to the toilet. Not a deal breaker by any means. Anyways, as we go through here, we have, you get your robes and you have a full safe that does hold a 15 inch MacBook Pro, a DSLR in there, a whole bunch of stuff. So lots of room. Uh, we don't pack really light. There's one suitcase there. Then on to the main room here, that nice area for your shoes and another suitcase, even the stroller. And uh, we're just gonna pan over here. Now you have your choice of two double beds or one king size bed. And that is one thing that really kind of irks me a little bit is that look at the size of this room. Look how much room there is here. It would just be so much better to have two queen size beds considering most people are with a family and it's a little bit tight. Well, it's a lot tight for two people on a bed this size, even when the kids are really small. Nice new hotel, you have uh, alarm clock, has USBs, but you have USBs in the wall as well. Everything is really up to date, and it should be. This hotel is basically about a year old, if that. Then we switch over, full HD TV, and let's open this up here. There we have our mini bar. So in it, you have a selection of water, soft drinks, beer, or cerveza, and off to the side, you can pull this out, and you have hard liquors. So, you know, you got Stoli, Bacardi, uh, you got a couple of rum, a rum and a tequila there, and uh, yeah, definitely not bad. It gets stocked every day. As, long, as well, they stock bunch of goodies that we've already got into some gummy bears oreos some chips things like that over here you have a coffee machine which is uh, with one of the inserts kind of like the nespresso style nice nice coffee you have your desk and then you have your table here good for dining in um, it comes with a bottle of wine as well and one thing is room service is all included I did order it once. Yeah, it's what you can expect from an all-inclusive because they have to drive so far. So things weren't really crispy and hot, like say for french fries. This is gorgeous though. Here, got a couple steps, full size, big humongous uh, soaker jacuzzi tub. Kids really love that. And when you come outside, okay. Well, there we go. We got a nice, huge sitting area. And a lounger that's full of chips right now, but a uh, reclining lounger. Now look at the size of this. Say hi everybody, yeah. And talk about location. <laughs> and there is the big, huge water park and the playroom. There's a lazy river, we're right beside it. And the road here, this is where you can catch your shuttle. That is the shuttle stop. So that's how close we are. This is building 94, by the way and there is the water park. And over that way, about seven minute walk or so is the lobby. So lots and lots of room there. That's it for the in-room tour. Let's check out outside. The piece de resistance, especially if you have kids, is the water park and playroom. Now, I'm no expert in water slides, but I'm pretty sure these aren't your typical slides. Look at this one. You'd have to load in first, and the bottom would just kind of drop out. Forget about just going straight down. These things are like water roller coasters. Not feeling that adventurous? 
How about just lounging around the lazy river that circles the playroom? They haven't forgot about the little ones though. There is a water play area just for them, and a pretty nice one. Note that the water in this area is not heated, so on the cooler days, it can get pretty cold. Unfortunately, the big slides have been built for a while, but as of January 2018 right now, they still aren't operational yet. I've heard they might still need a little bit of tweaking and fine tuning. These are serious rides, so I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. After you dry off, time to head inside the playroom. This place is nuts. There are climbing playgrounds, video arcades, laser games, an aerial climbing experience, even bumper cars. What's even more insane is that it's all free. Upstairs, there's an area for younger kids and over four years old, you can actually sign them in and leave them there. Our youngest wasn't old enough, but that's okay. It's just as fun watching them go crazy in this playground heaven. The area is open till 10 p.m., so there's more than enough time for everyone to burn off some steam. Once the sun goes down, the entertainment doesn't stop. The Grand has a huge rooftop area where they have a dinner show every night. It's all family friendly and the entertainment is very good. If food is a thing, they also have a chef's dinner every week where not only do you see and hear what the chef has prepared, it's also accompanied by some very interesting talent. Nightly at 9 p.m., there is a theater show. Unlike a lot of other resorts where it's an outside theater, the Grand has a huge indoor theater protecting you from the elements. The lighting and sound is superb and the talent lineup mirrors the excellence. Here's a few that we got to see. Check out this Lion King performance. It's with a live band and the performers are actually singing. This is more like a mini Broadway show than a free resort show. As much as I like the charm of an outdoor theater and having cold nachos at a beachside snack bar at midnight, these slick productions and midnight crepes seem to be a lot more appealing to me. Maybe I've just grown up and appreciate a little more pampering. Speaking of that, if pampering is your thing, you'll be in awe with the Awe Spa. Depending on the length of your stay, you receive resort credits to spend, and the spa is a great way to spend some of those. Only catch is that you need to pay a 16% tax, but at the end of the day, it's still a really, really good deal, especially for the spa, golf, or outside excursions. All right, that's just a little sliver of the Grand. We didn't touch on so many other restaurants, beaches, bowling alleys, all, there's so much more that you're gonna have to check out if you come here. I've been to quite a few resorts in this area, just to name a few, the Grand Bahia Principe, I love that place, Grand Serenus, a Barrel Star Kitzel, uh, the Rio Cancun. So I kind of have a good judge of what the resorts are like in this area. I can tell you 3000%, the Grand, it kills all of those in spades. The quality of everything from the food, the drink, the quality of the room, the free Wi-Fi, uh, to the newness of everything, the, how family friendly this place is, the entertainment, it just, it is so far above everything. I think this really is the new benchmark for Caribbean resorts. There are a few small negatives though. One, I mentioned the beds. I would love for two queen size beds instead of the two doubles. I'd pay extra for that. I get it though, they're gonna save a lot of money putting the doubles in and, and it's not gonna stop people from coming anyways. Uh, number two, that app to unlock the door with your phone never worked. I tried twice, went to the front desk, they put different codes in, gave me different keys, never worked. Our wristbands, it didn't open the door either. Uh, apparently this is not the right style, so I don't know what you have to do to get one of those. And number three, seven nights, way too short. Make sure you book yourself in for longer than that. From Mexico, hasta la vista, baby. Thanks for watching. Of course, everyone has different tastes and different needs. This vacation really did work for our family. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer whatever questions you have. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button.
Thanks for watching.